Hello, hello, hello everybody. Amy on Fire here. Today is going to be our last chat about coping with um, separation and divorce. And then we will talk a little bit about what I would like to talk with you about next. So what I'd like to say first, first of all, I've enjoyed all these chats we've had. And um, I just want to know what kind of what some of your thoughts are on the series in separation and divorce and um oh goodness i lost my whole train of thought sorry about that but anyway let's chat and um there's just something there's some important things that are more positive about separation and divorce that you need to really really remember in those moments where you're sad or having a hard time and that is there are very very few moments in life that push us past our limits to really be our best and um, and to really just do what we, what needs to be done and, and take it to the next level. And divorce is one of them. I would argue kind of becoming a parent is probably one of the other big ones that does this. And getting separated or divorced as a parent is almost like becoming a parent all over again. It pushes you to another level to strive to be better, to do more, to be more. Um, you're really just kind of put in a position to, to do it all. And the cool thing is, is that as you settle in and get your rhythm, you realize that you can, you can do it or, or most of it, you know, we all have to set limits and boundaries, but we can do it. And I don't want anybody here to ever forget that, that you are capable and that you can do whatever has to be done. And all you have to do is have the right mindset and believe in yourself. Um, there's actually an interesting study that I read recently about helping yourself do something that you don't think you can do. And they compared several different things. And one of them was telling yourself that you can do it. One of them was visualization, which is always pushes a good thing, right? Visualizing yourself at your goal and having what you want and achieving everything. Um, and there was one other thing. I can't remember what the other one was. But... <laughs> The interesting thing in the end was the biggest factor in somebody um, succeeding in something that they didn't know how to do as far as like self-motivating things was saying to themselves, I can do this. Seriously, just saying out loud to yourself a couple times, I can do, you know, whatever the task is. That was the biggest predictor of success compared to other things. Um, so does that kind of surprise anybody else here? Give me some likes, show me some hearts so I know that you're paying attention and, and, um, hearing what I have to say here. But, um, yeah, so it's mindset and motivation. We all go through hard times, but this is definitely just, um, one of the things you got to do is, um, use this time of change to push yourself to move forward, to be better and believe in yourself remember that it's if you let yourself think negative thoughts you end up being and feeling negative we really do become what we think and what our kind of um, languages inside our brains the way we think about ourselves and talk about ourselves and think about and talk about our goals has a huge impact on whether or not we accomplish our goals how we th actually end up feeling about ourselves and how others perceive us when you're negative, it kind of just like comes out of your energy everywhere, right? I don't know about you, but when I'm around somebody who's negative all the time, it's like it just wears you down and you're just like, man, I can't, can't be around you anymore because you're just sucking the joy out of my own life, right? I mean, we've all been there, I think, anyway. Unless, unless you're the negative one who needs to think up some more positive self-talk. Is that you? <laughs> So just keep, keep these things in mind. Um, really, really, just positivity. It's made a huge difference in my life too. When I look at things with a positive twist instead of a negative twist, I feel better. I can tell people react to me better. And I can kind of sometimes feel the mood change in the whole room. If you just come in and just like don't let that negativity like hit you, um, might be kind of hard to explain but sometimes I've been in a few places where everyone is just miserable and if you just come in smiling and think to yourself it's gonna be a good day we can do this and and help everybody around you feel the same way 
it, it's contagious. It's contagious. Negativity is contagious and positivity is contagious. So let's all be as positive as we can. And remember when you have a challenge and something comes up next to tell yourself, I can do it because that will literally help you do it. It seems silly, but science is differently. So, and we like science around here. <laughs> anyway, um, this is, like I said, going to be my last chat for now about coping with divorce and separation. And I want to move into my next subject next. And um, what I would like to talk with about next is, uh, sorry, I keep seeing things on the screen and it's really distracting. It's kind of fun to see your feedback, but then sometimes it like totally throws my whole train of thought off. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't comment or like the post. I just, I have to get used to it. I'm still kind of new to this thing. Anyway, my next series is going to be on um, natural health care and healing things naturally and kind of getting out of some of the conventional um, remedies and things. Um, I don't know if you have been all over my blog yet, but I did have, this is, like I said, yeah, I say this in my blog too, it's a little embarrassing to, to talk about, but I had BV for a while and I could not get rid of it for months with antibiotics and creams and this and that, whatever the doctors told me to try, I tried because I was like, this has to go away. None of it worked until finally I went online and chose a probiotic. So, and it's been gone since then, all that time wasted. So I would love, love, love to share with you some of the things that my family does to treat all of our ailments naturally and help you stay out of the doctor's office. So that's what's coming up next. It has been great chatting with you all tonight. I hope you all have a wonderful evening and we will talk again tomorrow. Take care, ignite your life, guys.